Our main target was to create a drone that can navigate indoor in the remote environment. Basically, we created a localization system which can replace GPS as we all know GPS won't work in indoor environments. So we use the Wicon, uh, the Wicon setup for that. So our one. We look for localization in indoor uh, environments, and for that we looked at two methods basically. One was the uh, onboard localization, uh, for which we uh, tried to use an optical flow sensor, which would basically detect the altitude of the drone and could hence stabilize it. The second method we looked at was external localization. The camera basically looks at the marker and it knows it knows its dimensions, so it can uh, hold the altitude and position of the drone. This whole setup setup is called as Wicon. What the Wicon does is it takes the outer and inner, inner diameter of the stickers, and then using image segmentation, it it uh, it gives us the transform of the current coordinate system of of this drone at where it is in in the environment. Basically, it, it localizes it. Then we take those coordinates and then uh, using a PID controller, we control uh, we, we convert it into a throttle roll and pitch. So then we give the uh, throttle roll pitch values from my PC to the inboard uh, flight computer, which is Raspberry Pi 02W. Now the Raspberry Pi 02W is connected with the flight controller using the UART connection. We are using MSP protocol to communicate between the flight controller and flight computer. Now this. Uh, Raspberry Pi it computes the uh, throttle roll pitch values and then it sends to the flight computer and the flight computer has an internal uh, another controller basically it uses it uses that uh, those roll pitch values to give commands to the motor the PWM uh, the PWM values to the motor and that is how it moves autonomously uh, inside the indoor environment this is the camera we are using for the Wicon arrangement basically this goes on the ceiling and it gives us the frame of the area that we want to localize the drone in. So as you can see, this is the marker. This is the marker that the Wicon ca camera catches. So if I show the marker on the camera, it it will give me the coordinates of uh, what what where the drone is basically. If I move it, it will change accordingly. Controlling the drone without a transmitter by TV serial protocol, uh, which can be used to communicate, uh, and it is very fast. While using the MSP, when we used to send the RC commands to arm the drone, the drone won't arm. So the solution that we found was that when you send direct commands to the drone, it won't it won't accept those commands until some wake up calls are sent to it, some dummy messages. It can be anything like uh, getting the altitude data or, or getting the voltage data. It can be anything. We were using a uh, Raspberry Pi Zero. So that has like limited amount of RAM, limited amount of memory. So uh, we were actually told to use ROS on that. However, ROS would have been too heavy for that uh, for the board. So we switched to a lighter protocol called MQTT, which is a uh, short form for Mosquito Protocol. Before using any software or hardware, best just go through the documentation. There are small things. That that changes some uh, that changes the use case of the whole project. So you might stumble upon it on your on your later part of the project, and you might not find it like what's making the problem. We were uh, placing the optical flow sensor on the bottom of the drone. Now with the conventional arm guards, which are uh, smaller in size, if the drone falls down, the, it might break the optical flow sensor. So we. Uh, Increase the size of the arm guards. The currently used material is uh, PLA. Uh, the suggested material is TPU, which is more shock absorbent and it won't break and slice like the uh, PLA does. Another thing was to uh, get a mount for a flight computer, as it can't be placed on the drone. It has no uh, mount for it. So we create created this uh, uh, a flight computer mount that will also hold the battery, which is easily uh, which can be easily taken out and is easily replaceable. Currently, this drone can navigate itself, but the problem is the yaw will stay like this. Like it, if it, it it has to go here, it will go like this. So what if uh, we need to place it like this, and then we use uh, we want to navigate it. So for that, we can use a new version of Wicon that is Y code. This is the Y code marker. What Y code does is that these basically are encoded bits in the form of Manchester encoding, which is a type of line encoding, and uh, when so when the mark when the com camera detects these markers and the if if the marker rolls then it can detect the change through the angle of the motion 
and hence it can control the yaw as well yeah. it basically uh, gives us the transform of the converted yaw and then we can get the coordinate to uh, similarly control the drone through this internship at least i am now more clear about uh, what i wish to do ahead in my career i did got a internship offer from a company well when i posted that got internship in iantra i posted it on linkedin and i got an offer for internship so i'll agree with saga that it uh, it has opened many opportunities for me i have a fair idea like where i can go now and where i can continue my further studies so really advantages to work hard for uh, for your eyrc eyrc duration and then come here and uh, have a very fruitful internship because no matter what the project you're doing uh, there's a very high chance that you will end up learning a lot of things that you had no idea even existed think big and have a bigger hunger for it the universe will deliver it to you especially if, if you're not from an iit or an nit or a top tier of college this is an excellent opportunity for you to really show your metal you really prove your metal to the entire world and obviously coming here professor kavi talked a lot about the fire that we students who are not from these top tier colleges what what kind of fire that we have and i feel that that really motivated me and now i really want to do you know bigger things achieve bigger things in life